The Giants made two moves in day one of free agency, one of those being signing cornerback James Bradbury of the Carolina Panthers to a three-year, $45 million contract, $32 million guaranteed, uh, making him the third highest paid cornerback in the NFL. He was the second until Byron Jones signed that huge contract with the Miami Dolphins. Now the Miami Dolphins have the two highest paid cornerbacks in the NFL, with Xavier Howard making 15.1 and Byron Jones making $17 million a year. But I want to talk about James Bradbury because when I first saw this signing, I thought it was ridiculous that we signed him to a $15 million per year contract, being that everybody hated Janoris Jenkins' contract at $14 million a year, and he was a really, really decent corner. And I really wanted to take a deep dive into James Bradbury and talk about him. And I watched about five games from James Bradbury. A couple of them, I watched uh, the Redskins uh, because, you know, he's now in the NFC East. I watched week one against the Rams. I watched, um, I watched, I think one of them was the Saints, one of those Saints games, and I also watched the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game, the second Buccaneers game, and I watched the Houston game against DeAndre Hopkins, so I could really get a gist of how well or poorly he would play. First thing I want to go over is some notes with James Bradbury. This guy is a cover Corner, you guys remember Josh Norman all those years ago, how we talked about Josh Norman was one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, also number 24 uh, of the Carolina Panthers, how he was a scheme cornerback, he was a cover two, cover three, cover four, he was a zone corner, and he pretty much just patrolled his area of the field, he did not follow receivers to other sides like a Janoris Jenkins would. Um, Josh Norman would just stick to one side. He played left or right cornerback and it would stick, stick there and play well there. James Bradbury is the same exact corner when it comes to that. They run the same scheme there in Carolina as they did all those years ago. James Bradbury is just a left cornerback. Yes, sometimes you will see him play on the right side. Sometimes, very, I think I counted on one hand how much James Bradbury um, played in the slot in those five games I watched. I think he probably lined up in the slot three or four times, okay? It's not going to happen very often. He does not follow number one receivers. He plays on one side of the field. That is the left side of the field, uh, looking at it from their point of view. If you look at it from the offensive point of view, he's always on the right side of the football. By the way, guys, if you guys want to see my film review on Blake Martinez, let this video hit about 35 likes. Let's hit 35 likes. Matter of fact, let's push it to 40 likes. 40 likes. So the first 40 people that enter this video, make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys want to see a Blake Martinez um, film review and analysis and kind of discussing if he's worth the contract like I did here with James Bradbury. Um, so let, let's hit 40 likes and we'll get that going. I really went on a deep dive here and really looked at what the guys were saying about him, right? The articles, the guys, um, the beat writers for Carolina, the guys that really pay attention to Carolina's, um, you know, players. So I looked, I stumbled across one article and this one said that James Bradbury's best game was October 13th week 6 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, he highlighted because it's his best game because he had 11 tackles which I thought I was dumbfounded because if you guys know any sort of football you guys know cornerbacks if they get 11 tackles means they had a terrible game that they were out here allowing catches and forced to tackle the receivers that that caught the ball on them that is what uh cornerbacks that, that is what happens when cornerbacks have 10 tackles 11 tackles usually you see those amount of tackles from bad cornerbacks um if you have a good cornerback in the nfl you'll have two one, one or two tackles a game and about one or two passes defense that's what you want to see from your corners but james bradbury had a terrible game against the buccaneers and this might be his worst game of the season. I think it was his worst game of the season, but a lot of people are saying it's undoubtedly. I looked I looked on the article and I was dumbfounded. It said undoubtedly his best performance on the field, which makes no sense because as I counted, uh, Mike Evans allowed five receptions uh, on 10 targets, two interceptions. One of them was at the end of the game. It was a Hail Mary, okay? It, just, it was stupid. Uh, but one of them was the first play of the game where Jameis Min uh, Winston was being Jameis Winston and he threw a pick to James Bradbury. I thought that was fantastic coverage that James Bradbury uh, did. And I'm like, okay, maybe this is his best game until I started watching later on. Five receptions for 73 yards. 
That is a lot of yards for just five, five receptions, guys. You guys may not understand that because you're not seeing three digits in there, but five receptions for 73 yards on one player is bad. That is bad. He didn't allow, he allowed a 11 yard reception, two 17 yard receptions, I think a 16 yard, a 14 yard, something like that. Um, I had it on my phone um, that I'm using to record this, but. Um, oh, I have it right here. So a 15-yard reception, a 17-yard reception, a 13-yard reception, an 11-yard reception, and a 16-yard reception. So uh, I think that's all of them that I wrote down there. But that that's ridiculous, guys. That's not okay. And I'm putting up the film as you guys are, um, are listening to this and watching this. And you guys can see that James Bradbury really had a tough time against Mike Evans. He did not have a great performance against Mike Evans and that does worry me because I mean he plays Mike Evans twice a year he should be able to figure him out at this point uh, but maybe that's just Mike Ever Mike Evans figuring out James Bradbury um, but all I know is that Mike Evans isn't the most fantastic route runner but he ran some amazing routes on James Bradbury had him going the other way uh, a couple of them really had him in the other direction he made him fall at one point uh, and he caught the ball wide open so uh, that being said, that that is that is what uh, James Bradbury, Bradbury is bringing to the table, and I thought he was just going to be a terrible corner. I thought that maybe this is what James Bradbury is, that he's just going to allow a lot of yards and a decent cover corner in zone. But then I turned on Houston's game tape. I was very curious. I was like, well, let's see if he's guarding up on DeAndre Hopkins, and oddly enough, DeAndre Hopkins can move, you know, as the offensive player, he can move on to the other sides of the field, and he did for the most part, but he mostly lined up on James Bradbury. James Bradbury did not move. This guy was on the same side of the field almost all the time, and he just wound up to line up on, Jay on DeAndre Hopkins, but James Bradbury did a fantastic job on DeAndre Hopkins, who's one of the best route runners in the NFL, if not the best wide receiver in the NFL, and I was extremely impressed with James Bradbury in this Houston game. I'll throw up the film right now. You guys can see that he did a very good job defending against DeAndre Hopkins in total. I had DeAndre Hopkins on James Bradbury, two receptions for five targets in 18 yards. He did a fantastic job on him, sticking to him wherever he goes. There was one play in particular, probably seeing it now, where uh, James Bradbury kind of gets away with a little bit of contact, but the rest make it up later on in the game for, for a pity pack call. But uh, he did a decent job. He allowed two nine-yard receptions, and that was it. DeAndre Hopkins had a pedestrian day. He really got his yards towards the end of the game uh, when the Carolina Panthers were playing prevent defense to try to, you know, keep that win going. Uh, there was one nasty route you guys are seeing now. DeAndre Hopkins uh, doing a flag route and just killed James Bradbury, but the ball didn't go in his direction. Uh, but for the rest of the game, you guys are seeing this pity pat call now. Uh, this was a defensive holding call, but still good coverage by James Bradbury. Uh, called the ball, um, called the ball anyway, but that was third down. Um, but James Bradbury did a fantastic job here, and so I'm extremely excited about James Bradbury just by seeing this game. If you could do this to DeAndre Hopkins, I believe you can do it to anybody. I think Mike Evans just has a way of figuring out James Bradbury because he's been playing him for so long, uh, for you know twice a year for the past four years. So um, you know maybe that's just that's the case. But I love what James Bradbury brings to the table now. And now I still think he's a little bit overpaid. Don't get me wrong, uh, but that's just what the market is in the NFL. You have to overpay players in order to keep these guys around. But let's see what happens with James Bradbury, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but I did my film review. I did my due diligence on him. This was just a little bit of what you can see from James Bradbury. These were just two games I wanted to show you guys. One where he played extremely poorly and one he, where he played extremely well. So you guys could try to find the medium in that. He also played decently against the Rams. He played fine against the Washington Redskins, but nobody really targeted him, nor did anybody really run again, run to him. Not because he was so good. It's just that, I don't know, the, the plays weren't just designed his way. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And let's go New York Giants, baby. Woo!